we have Dan Bo uh, Christian Bogos uh, using CG rates. Thank you. Okay, so hello everybody. Thank you for surviving until this time. It's amazing. <laughs> so um, I'm here to talk about uh, CG rates today, and um, yeah, I'm I'm part of the of the project since a while now. And um, we got quite some uh, new additions and exciting uh, functionality over the time. And uh, yeah, a bit how we reached here, um, just to understand uh, why we came to CG rates. So we are a company in Germany. Um, since over 10 years, uh, we were doing uh, server-side solutions in VoIP environment. So we had uh, both um, retail as well as uh, wholesale uh, projects and in time we needed to to have a, a, a proper way of rating so uh, during this time we also considered that we were educated in the hard way uh, around the, the life system outages this is how CG rates came up uh, what CG rates it's a it's some uh, mixture of terms uh, it's something which works real time um, it's coming close to billing although it's only a billing engine and uh, it's it's a suite of things because uh, it has more component than just a billing engine um, it's enterprise because uh, it's customized customizable so you can use it uh, as more as a framework to do your own thing so you can uh, customize it to, to help you solving your billing uh, issues. It's all um, open source. So full sources are available on GitHub. Uh, we don't have any add-ons in private repositories. And uh, we, we really respect and consider uh, the, the tips from our community. Um, it's a non-intrusive, by the way, it's a non-intrusive uh, billing system, so it will not force you routing your calls through us or um, do other tricks in order to get the billing out. It, it simply communicates in real time with your communication switch or uh, other uh, routing uh, service. Uh, it's, it's designed around performance, being online and real-time, it needs to, to be fast. For that, we have uh, used or we have developed our own uh, caching server and system inside, um, it, it, which is transactional. It has support for LRU, if you know, uh, list record used, and it also uh, has support to time out the, the items in cache. Um, Everything what we do, it's, are, it's asynchronous. So we use these micro threads, which everybody, uh, all the Go developers know by now that they are very uh, powerful and handy. Uh, talking about Go, by the way, uh, I think we are one of the oldest projects around. We started sometimes in 2010. So by that time, Go was in, in weekly rela release stage. So we, we took quite some uh, risk starting a billing engine in unknown uh, programming language, which was quite, kind of fine as well. Uh, it's a test-driven development project. Uh, today we have more than 4,000 uh, tests which we run on our builds. We have both uh, unit test, integration test, also a call uh, simulation test. So, um, it's uh, something which protects us quite seriously from making or, or uh, hitting ourselves. Uh, it has a modular architecture. It's cloud ready, so it's, it's based on microservices. Um, everything what CG rates does, uh, it does it through APIs. We, we call it even when CG rates breathe, it does it through an, through an API. Uh, it's easy also to enhance it by replacing specific components. So you can uh, simply, you don't like something which we wrote, you take it out, you put your own component, and the rest of them should be working uh, uh, like it was working before. It's feature-rich, so uh, 
we are what others are calling online or offline uh, charging system. Um, it's multi-tenant. We have uh, the, the oldest component as um, a, a rating engine with derived charging. This derived charging gives you possibility to uh, fork CDRs or calls. So you can, in parallel, build uh, your, all your, of your distributors, uh, all of your suppliers, and your customer. So um, it helps you solving some issues as well there. Uh, we have account balances, this, this bundles, what others are calling. Um, you can have unlimited bundles, so uh, you have data bundles, minute bundles, monetary. You can uh, play with them, like queuing the order they are processed. You can fail over and so on between them. And um, we, we do session or uh, event charging with balance reservation and refunds. So this is also... Uh, something you need if you are doing uh, online charging. Um, we have plugins or what we call agents uh, to major open source VoIP systems. Um, CDR logging, so uh, we also are able to, we have a CDR server, so you can send us the CDRs. Uh, we, ha we support also interim records and we also support uh, online exports. Uh, this online exports um, gives you the, the possibility to uh, have the CDRs rated in real time and posted to your own infrastructure. So you don't need to uh, use our server. So you get something what we call rating queues. So you push one CDR to us and a few milliseconds later you, ha you get it on your side already rated. So it emulates like you are receiving from the switch the CDRs already rated. Um, so this helps you not changing your existing billing infrastructure. Um, regarding the uh, another important chapter, we do fraud detection with automatic mitigation. So we have some uh, modules uh, flexible in doing that. Uh, we support LCR uh, computation uh, and some particular cases. Uh, so. LCR based on quality, so you can select your suppliers based on how good they terminate your calls. And you also, we also have LCR over bundles, so if they offer you some free minutes over weekend or something, you can, or the system can bring them into service, uh, just for the duration of the bundles. Um, we have a, a statistics a service, so it's able to compute generically statistics for you. It's all online, so you can have in a matter of, of milliseconds ASR, ACD for your customer for the last one hour, last one day, whatever you put in your filters. So this is also useful to, to help you monitoring and be uh, and react on, on traffic uh, pattern changes or, or something. You can uh, set some triggers so your, cu your customer or your supplier gets notified when uh, ASR drops. or So it's, it, it can help you uh, on this. And then um, we have what we will discuss, uh, diameter or radio server implementation uh, with some process templates making the whole thing uh, protocol or standard agnostic. Uh, it's important because at least in the diameter world, uh, everybody has its own extensions, and it's quite uh, hard to be compatible with all the vendors around. Uh, we have also built-in high availability support, so uh, we know how to fail over between uh, various um, um, components and connection fail failure. Uh, and we also educate ourselves to be agile in developing new features. So you have a new feature, we want to hear about it, and uh, please put it on, on our GitHub. Uh, just to understand the project, you can see some of its history. Uh, one of the first commits is from before 2012, and ever since our code base raised. So uh, we were constantly adding features during this time and constantly developing the project. Um, to understand how CG rates works, uh, I have uh, put the components which are part of the CG, CG rates ecosystem. Um, 
this is uh, also the reason why I told you it's, it's like a framework because you have many uh, components which are working together and each with isolated functionality. It, each of these uh, components can be a standalone server or service or they can all be integrated into one process. Uh, they can talk between them at, at process level via some, uh, if you know, go via channels. So for them, it doesn't matter whether they talk internally over channels or they talk externally over RPC. They don't know ab about that. So it's in this way you can scale on demand. As, as when you get um, scalability problem, you just throw in some new hardware and split a component there. Um, so part of the, um, of the uh, components or some of the components are uh, like attributes. This attributes is like a alias server or um, user profile server. So if things are missing from your requests, you are able to add them through these attributes. Um, RALS is the, is the component where we, did, we do the rating and accounting. So there is where cost is showing up and also accounts are managed. Uh, stats is the statistic service. It's a generic one, so you can implement new uh, algorithms or new methods of, of computation uh, by simply adding some uh, a function. Um, resources are able to compute the resources used by your customers, so you can offer them, I don't know, channels for a specific destinations or count their uh, requests per second. So um, this is what resource helps you for. And then uh, thresholds is to, to do fraud management or uh, notifications. So you can monitor your traffic. And you can see all the agents which we have. So each of these agents will work as a protocol converter. Uh, you have diameter, uh, you have uh, radius, then uh, an asterisk agent for asterisk uh, over uh, ARI. So free switch is also supported, Camaelio, and also there is a, a module within OpenSIPs, mod CG rates doing exactly the same thing, and a general session manager uh, dealing with sessions. We also have support for importing generic CDRs, so you can throw in any CSV or XML and you can configure templates to process it. Regarding diameter and radius agents, uh, we have a uh, uh, as I told you, a, a generic protocol converter. It's protocol agnostic, and you can define all its logic in JSON uh, processing templates. Uh, you can have multiple uh, matching processors in the same time. You can have fallback in between them. Uh, you can debug your, your templates, and you can also do processor ver variable overloading between the process. Um, we have, uh, when it comes to radius, you can also define a bit more advanced. You can have per client secrets or dictionaries. Um, we did that in a, in own uh, library. So uh, we are also encouraging you to use that. We maintain a, a Radigo uh, as a radius uh, library in Go. Some idea to have on how you, you define the templates. So you will, for example, in case of diameter, you will select the uh, CCR fields which you want to convert and send it to CG rates. And you also will select which fields you want in the uh, diameter answer. So in CCA answer uh, being sent back to, to diameter client. Um, out of, of the diameter um, event, you will have internal event going to CG rates. So you see here the, the event which is produced out of a, a complex, complicated uh, event in diameter. And uh, you can see as a reply, you have more modules based on what you have selected to be um, uh, requested in the, in the request. Uh, you get specific answers and um, you see here attributes like querying the database or resources for monitoring resources. Uh, you have the maximum usage of your call. This is the value in nanoseconds because uh, this is how Go defines time duration. And then you have the list of suppliers if you want, if you're interested to uh, with their cost and why they were selected again 
uh, it's all integrated in one API call. So I went fast. I don't know. Do I still have time for questions or? OK. So if any question, I know I was a bit. Um, not seriously. We use it in production since one and a half years. Uh, we have um, a, a, this particular customer sometimes speaking 500 requests per second with 50,000 uh, active sessions. So it's, it's quite stable for us. Oh, <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> so it was, it, it's really a good library. Nice to meet you again. <laughs> yeah. Do you have some benchmarks? Because there is some question, but the numbers are always different. Yeah. Uh, it depends. Ah, sorry. Uh, he's asking me if I have some benchmarks uh, on on caching. So I, I told you in production benchmarks were like around 500 requests per second with 50,000 simultaneous sessions up. Uh, we are working, uh, we didn't have a, a customer more than 500 because this, they have like 600,000 prepaid users. So this is quite a large network. But if you want to go about, above that, we are working on a balancer solution which should be uh, available in maximum two, three months, I think, or let's say five months. As soon as you have the network, if you have today the network, I would be more than happy to assist you to bring it up. That, But there was nobody that that high. <laughs> So, thank you. Yeah, this is what, what I heard also. So, but we already prepare ourselves for the clustering in the future. Thank you very much. <laughs>